Thanks for watching. I have nothing to disclose. Lump ring my MRI is extremely challenging due to low proton density and the stability effect adjacent to numerous air tissue interfaces such as alveoli and the bronchial tree. At conventional field strengths like 1.5T and 3T, this has required the use of ultra-short echo-time imaging, which produces great image quality but has notoriously low scan efficiency. Recently, low field strength, specifically 0.55T, has shown great promise, as shown in this example from the NIH group. The excellent performance at margin 0.55T is largely attributed to reduced stability effects. However, the precise nature of the improvement is not fully understood. A better understanding of these effects would allow us to optimize sequences for 0.55T and also anticipate performance at other B0 field strengths that haven't yet been reduced to practice. The goal of this simulation study is to predict apparent transverse relaxation in lump parenchyma due to the proximity to alveoli and the bronchial tree. We studied these effects separately and denote the relaxation risk R2A and R2B for alveoli and the bronchial tree respectively. Alveoli are modeled by multiple Lorentz spheres with air on the inside and the parenchyma on the outside. Parenchyma spins are assumed to be in the static refocusing regime, which neglects proton diffusion. On the left, a 3x3x3 three by three by three lattice is shown, but a 9x9x9 was used for simulation. On the right, this is the relative difference field of a fundamental block, which is the superposition of disturbances created by each sphere. We sum the phases of all protons within the parenchyma space and performed a two-term exponential fading to estimate R2A. To achieve different alveolar volume density, we tuned the sphere diameter. During normal respiration, the volume fraction goes from 61% to 73%. This is easily simulated by modulating the sphere diameter within the lattice. Here, we show the effect of a volume fraction and B0 on R2A. The volume fraction has almost no impact, whereas B0 has a strong positive and approximately linear relationship with the R2A. Now, let's turn to the bronchial tree. Starting from the high-resolution 3D x mask, we assign the stability values to the tissues. We simulate off resonance due to bronchial tree by convolving with a dipole kernel. We then obtain the high resolution phaser map based on the TE. We then reduce to the desired resolution with a Fourier truncation. And finally, we perform exponential fitting to obtain R2B. The corresponding parenchyma mask with the desired resolution was generated using similar steps. The results suggested that R2B is sensitive to B0, but relatively insensitive to spatial resolution, which was different from our expectation. However, R2B values were insignificant compared to R2A. In summary, we demonstrated a preliminary framework to estimate the transverse signal decay in lump parenchyma MRI. These simulations suggested that the susceptibility effect due to alveoli dominates over the effect of proximity to the bronchial tree. We also need to include more physiologically realistic characteristics in lung for future work. With such limitations, we found a discrepancy between the R2A in this work and R2' at 0.55t and 1.5t in published works. R2A is somewhat smaller than the published R2'. Here is my acknowledgement. I want to thank MREL Group at USC and give special thanks to Dr. Abadi for providing XCAT mask and Dr. Wood for valuable discussion. Thank you.